Whoa, 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 it's Friday. It's Friday again. It's like still last Friday for me. It's next Friday for you. Because... I am filming this on March 14th. It's for March 21st. The reason it's going like this is because I'm going to be gone on vacation next week for spring break. Won't be back in time for Friday video for seven people. So I'm making this now. So let's hope the world hasn't ended next week. It's pretty cool. I'm talking to the future. The children are our future, and I'm talking to them right now. Blah. Okay, uh, I got a little heads up, so I know what this week's challenge is, unless Drake screws me over and changes it before now, which I won't know until this video is already up, because that's whenever I get back. Five things you can't live without. It doesn't have to be like physical objects like a pen, which <laughs> coincidentally, <laughs> Part of mine is a pen. <laughs> I just kind of randomly grabbed something, but now, it, like, for seriousness, is like, my number one thing I can't live without is a pen and a notebook. <laughs> Coincidence? Probably. Uh, pen and notebook. I'm counting that as one because they go together. Cause like, like, like I put a pen inside of a notebook, so it's one thing. Um, Number two, I, I actually have this open to the page where I wrote that down, so I gotta look it, look it up again. Uh, ah, yes, number two, my imagination. Yeah, it sounds kind of cheesy, but you know what? It's the truth. My mind, my imagination keeps me entertained whenever nothing else is there to entertain me. Like, the notebook's there for writing short stories, writing down ideas, writing down poetry, uh, just writing in general, and drawing. Doobles, like whenever I get bored. But whenever I don't have that, I use my imagination. I just like go through stories in my head. Like I'll drift off. I'm I am ADD. I have ADHD, ADD, ADHD, whichever one. And I will drift off every now and again, like thinking about stuff. Number three is my family. When I say my family, I don't mean just like my mom, my dad, my brother. I mean like basically I'm gonna say friends and family, my close, close friends and family. So that's that's the third thing I can't live without. And oh wait, no. Yeah, it is. I lost count for a second. Music. I just, I completely love music. One, like, there have been times where I've sat down for hours, like, literally, like, three and four hours just sitting there doodling or writing poetry in my notebook and listening to music. Like, 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 for real. That, that's some of the stuff I like to do whenever I'm bored. Or, like, that's my entertainment. And number five is something I really have never mentioned in my videos. Uh, I kind of have some, I have something written about it on my page, but it's God. I am a strong Christian, and yes, I have fallen short and done some terrible things. And uh, I'm not perfect. Not in any way, not by far. And I'm not going to try to preach it to you. I'm just going to say that uh, it's just something I can't live without. Uh, I love my God, and He's always been there to help me through the toughest times whenever I feel like I have nowhere else to go. He's been there for me. And, uh, that's it. Oh, second part of Drake's week. Act out your favorite part of a movie, TV show, or something. And here it is. Mine is from Dumb and Dumber. The greatest comedy ever made. Oh, Harry, oh, buddy, oh, pal. Yeah. How about joining me for a good luck toast before my big night? Sure. What do you think will help your chances? Yes, sir. You know why I like you, Harry? Because you're a regular guy. I want you to stay regular. One hefty spoon for fast, effective relief.
my friend Harry, the matchmaker. Oh, f <laughs> oh. I actually haven't watched it yet because I'm still importing out my camera actually. So I'm gonna cut that little part out where I just paused and put the dumb and dumber thing in there. So I'll be like, oh yeah, it was okay, blah blah blah. I don't even know what it's like. It could be terrible, it could be great. But either way, it's rocking. Life's rocking. So keep watching us, keep telling everybody about us. And let's keep it going. See you tomorrow, Saturday.